Evolution is the character trait development of a species over time. All life forms evolve, and more specifically, have evolved from the last common universal ancestor, nearly 3.5 billion years ago. So every species in the world is a distant relative to you and I. Evolution occurs mostly as a result of natural selection. Variances in species occur constantly, and sometimes these variances prove to be beneficial. So this results in the animal with the beneficial mutation to have more children and potentially pass on that variance. Evolution is a long process and occurs over thousands if not millions of years. Humans are arguably the most evolved species in the world and people continue to wonder whether we are done evolving. The answer is no, we are always evolving and scientists have agreed on certain developments that humans will likely start to see in a few years. The first human evolution is expected to be mono-ethnicity. This means one race. With all the immigration around the world and countries continuing to become more and more multi-ethnic, scientists predict that within the next 10,000 years there will be one race of people on the planet and they will likely resemble Dominican and Arabian people. This is due to reproduction among different ethnic groups. At least racism will come to an end. Another evolution to expect is muscle atrophy. Due to the lessened need of physical strength, humans will begin to lose a substantial amount of muscle mass. This is because technology is expanding and people need far less physical ability in order to get by in their day-to-day -day life. In addition to humans losing muscle mass, they will grow taller. In the past, many humans would fail to reach their full height as a result of malnutrition. This is still a problem today. However, with the growing abundance of nutrition worldwide, humans are becoming more and more capable of reaching their maximum height. Food gives our bodies energy to grow. Humans may also see themselves with far less effective immune systems due to all the new medications available. Humans may eventually lose their fifth and smallest toe as well. Our early ancestors had far bigger toes than us and relied on them to climb and grip onto things. Since we no longer climb as much, our toes have continued to shrink and it is predicted that we will eventually lose our smallest toes. Some evolutionists claim that there is very little evolving left for humans due to the large medical advancements and diversity. There is no longer a survival of the fittest system, therefore very little natural selection. Survival of the fittest was far more prominent in small town populations where variances can be easily passed down. But some other evolutionists argue that evolution is alive and well, and that eventually parents will be able to choose which sperm and which egg meet, thus choosing the child they will have. Even if we are done evolving as a species, we are far from done evolving as individuals. We are reaching a point where we may be able to force evolution upon ourselves. The possibility of a bionic or artificial organs are looking good. If one's kidney is failing, he will be able to replace it with an artificial kidney, which works as good or better than a real one. Parents may also be able to remove undesirable genes from their fetus prior to their birth. This will likely be our new reality.